Coming up on 120 Minutes, the latest videos from Soundgarden and the Mighty Lemon Drops. First, a look at something a little older. In fact, something a lot older. It's been a year of reunion tours, in case you haven't noticed, with the Stones and the Who back on the road. And this summer, of course, saw concerts by the original lineup of one of the original British punk bands, The Damned. Now, another original British punk band has reunited for an American tour, The Buzzcocks. Here's more. People thought it would be a great idea if we got back together. So I'm like, who are we to stand in the way? idea to get back, you know. Back by public demand. Yeah. I only want to say you love to me and what you like that. Everybody has a bit of trepidation, whether or not, whether or not it'd be working, whether or not we get on with each other. But I mean, we've just had the time of our lives, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been working like a dream now. And it's a dream many fans have had since the band split in 1982. A reunion of the original Buzzcocks, four young men from Manchester, England, who virtually created punk pop. The decision to reform came very quickly, and just four rehearsals later, they hit the road with the idea that they would get to know each other again and then very possibly stay together. We haven't seen each other for quite a number of years, you know, um, so we didn't know what to expect, so you can't start saying, well, you know, here's the next ten years until we actually see if it works. And the best way to do it is get the ball rolling, go out there and play, you know generate some excitement between ourselves and with the audience, you know. Unlike their punk cohorts, the Damned, or elder statesmen like the Who or the Rolling Stones, this reunion seems to be inspired by love, not money. We play a gig a night for the next 11 years, then we've got a chance to be millionaires. So, I mean, as you can see, we're on a 20 day tour, we're not going <laughs> to... No, you can't just do it for the money. I mean, if it was for the money, we would have stayed together in the first place, I think. No. I mean, I mean, I mean in, in this... Uh, in this group for the money, then we would have disbanded a long time ago and become lawyers. <laughs> and thank God they didn't become lawyers, because if they did, they never would have written Never Fallen in Love, a song that the fine young cannibals scored big with. People were going, how dare they, how dare they, you know, like, you know, the defile, as they written, uh, you know, such a wonderful song. Um, but I mean, like, they got it higher in the charts than we did, so they're, they're more successful than us. <laughs> Buzzcocks has its own timeless world, you know, that's what's been good about it. And that world is kind of on our terms, rather than on, like, the outside the wonderful pressures world of the Buzzcocks. music, you know, the wonderful world of Buzzcocks, folks. Hey, the Buzzcocks play the First Avenue Club in Minneapolis tomorrow night. Right now, we're going to play you a video from Flesh for Lulu. It's the second clip off their latest album, Plastic Fantastic. And don't you love it when rough and tough boys in studded leathers get all soppy and romantic? This is Time and Space.